All right, so Jasmine's been super like into candles lately and she got me some new candles uh, for the office space. And it's pretty cool. This is Burning Bridges. I think that's the, that's the brand, I think, I wanna say. Open to get lit. <laughs> this is the brand, I guess, of the candles that she's been getting and stuff. So it smells really good. I forget what flavor is, is that a thing with flavor? There are four of them in here. Okay, so this one is Burning Bridges. Here are the other ones. Yeah, shout out to her though. She's been getting a lot of these really cool candles. Uh, we have one that's like a mahogany kind of smelling one, but I have a really sensitive nose, so it smells like super strong cologne. So she opted to get me uh, like some of these instead. And it, it's made the office smell really good too. Wow, that looks so bright. It's not even that bright in this office. Uh, I did change the settings on like the manual settings for the camera, so it's probably looking a little bit brighter than it should be, but you're gonna have to let me know if like you guys like this or not. Like. I crank this down? I can't tell if this is like a good thing or a bad thing because I feel like it looks like a little too bright, but it does add a little bit of pop of color. So I finished the Jedi Survivor playthrough on my main channel, which is Jed the Gamer, or my other channel. I don't know which channel is gonna be my main channel anymore. Um, and after I finished it, my homie Gav gave me like a few so like scuff controllers and stuff. He was texting me a lot about the game and how excited he was. And I think uh, I might have come off as like somebody that annoyed by it. And I hope I did and I really don't like ever coming off like that. I just had a lot of stuff going on. Ooh, almost said a cuss word. I had a lot of stuff going on that week. Uh, he gave me a couple of different controls. So this one has no thumbsticks and it needs to be fixed. It has no paddles, just like the other one doesn't either. So I'm about to get these like fixed from my local uh, repair place. This one doesn't have any paddles on the back either. I'm about to get this fixed too, uh, but that's cool with me. And then we've got this Scuff Impact, which is actually sick. So Team War, my org is actually sponsored by Scuff, so this is actually kind of perfect. But uh, this has like extra paddles and stuff on the back side. So for the gamers out there that have never seen a controller with paddles, this is what they look like. There's one for each of the four buttons on the uh, other side of the controller. So yeah, cool paddles and stuff. Uh, shout out Gavin, you know, thank you for letting me borrow your PlayStation 5 for like two weeks and then I had a bunch of stuff to do. My mom got a little hurt, she's okay now. Uh, I still had to help kind of with her and all the stuff that she had going on. But uh, everything's okay now, thankfully. So it's just, it was a busy week doing that whole Jedi Survivor playthrough. I was so backlogged on CDL Sportsbook content, some stuff that I'm still editing, Team War content that I'm still editing, but I'm pretty much done with that now. And I'm working with um, a friend of a friend to basically edit content for him for his YouTube channel. But uh, that gig is paid, so I wanna make sure I actually like stick to my obligations <laughs> and get stuff done. In terms of like a fitness journey update, I mean, like I've been getting there, you know? I've been going to the gym at least three to four times a week. It's more of three, but it's just been kind of busy lately just trying to make money and do my usual stuff. I did get a new water bottle and it cost me $20. <laughs> this cost me 20 dollars but it's worth it yo camelback if you ever want to sponsor this youtube channel i'm gonna be doing some fitness stuff on it hopefully whenever i get a like a location that's a little more private than planet fitness hey listen hear me out okay i'm a good video editor and i'm a good camera guy hear me out i've got some chicken chilling in the sink too i'm gonna be cooking this in a little bit it's like almost two o'clock in the morning uh we're, we're not really worried about time i'm gonna be cooking this a little bit uh, I have a nice little recipe that I came up with that involves a bunch of peppers and cilantro. This is the remnants from yesterday's meal, so I'm going to completely wash this, along with my skillets and dishes, because I used them to cook a, a really nice meal the other day. And then one thing I wanted to ask you guys was about this. Have you guys ever tried Epic Protein? I got it from Beyond Juicery and Eatery, which is a smoothie place that I go to like every other day because I like getting their total energy, which is like strawberry and banana mixed in one. And they give these away. Uh, so wait, let's see what we're dealing with here. So we've got USDA organic, certified vegan, plant protein, non-GMO, gluten-free, no gums, flavoring, or no additives. Made fresh, third-party tested in the USA. Third-party is questionable, isn't it? Pro-collagen though. Here's all the stuff that's in it. Let me know if this is safe, my guys, because I have no idea if this is actually, uh, Okay. Like I tried it in a cup before and it kind of had a weird taste. It was just kind of meh. I've never been into like protein powders and protein shakes and all that. But I tried it new. It, it was okay. Hopefully this won't be too bright. But here's how we're looking. So if we stretch my arms out, obviously that's gonna kind of tuck away the gut a little bit. But this is how much we got overhanging right now. And this is like, so here's my waist. This is my stomach right here. Like we're doing pretty okay. Now, 
If I hold it in, it looks nice. This is what it looks like pushed out. It used to go out way farther than that. Like, like out here. So we're doing kind of good, but obviously I'm gonna hold it in. I gotta flex, I gotta look clean, you know what I mean? Arms are looking good though, so is the shoulders like. Oh, wow, look at it, look at that. Look at that vein, yeah. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling healthier. I'm sleeping better, and apparently I do not snore anymore according to Jasmine. So if, <laughs> if I had any benefit from all the working out that I've been doing, which has been a large mixed bag of cardio, inclines, like heavy inclines, like walking at like a 15 incline or whatever the highest that the treadmills of my gym can go. Walking at like a 3.0, 3.2 mile per hour pace. That's what I've been doing. And uh, I hear that that's really, really good if you're trying to burn calories quick. I guess quick is an understatement. It still comes from how you're going to eat your food, but it's still a very rigorous workout, man. I, I've seen people in the gym do stair climbers like 20, 30 minutes that I do not understand how they're able to do so we're sticking with the incline and the treadmill for now and walking about 30 minutes at a time. I just throw on a podcast, usually the Optic Podcast or something. I watch that and uh, that's what I do the entire time. I wish you could turn timers off on the treadmill because I don't like seeing how long I've been going. Or I don't like watching the timer like tick up because it feels like it's taking forever, you know? And my legs have always been pretty decently defined. Like, like that's, we're looking good out here, you know? Look at that. Uh, yeah. That's that good stuff right there. Legs are strong. I've been doing a lot of leg workouts too. Uh, mostly squatting and typical stuff. I've been debating on doing hip thrusting. I've heard that males should do hip thrusting too. I've worked a lot on like my inner and outer thighs. I'm doing a lot of workouts around those regions and Jasmine's. <laughs> She's in love with the, she's in love with them. But I've been thinking about doing hip thrusts. I saw my brother, my brother's a fitness maniac. He's cracked. I'm gonna ask him if I could put a picture of what he looks like in this video. Uh, this dude is ripped. Like when I say ripped, I mean ripped. Just look at him. This is my younger brother. <laughs> this dude is cracked. He kind of inspired me though, really to get into the gym. Like I've been watching his fitness stuff on Instagram mainly for the last couple of years now. When I started doing my fitness journey back in the end of March, like the start of April, I saw all the workouts and stuff that he was doing and the progress that he was making. Now he's never been big like me in terms of like, like overweightness and gut and stuff. He's always been more of a slim built guy, but over the last like four years, he is just insane now. Kind of inspired me to really kind of get on my grind because I like the way I want to look like not maybe exactly like how he's looking, but I want to I want to improve myself. Because for me, a lot of this fitness stuff, and I think we even talked about this some time ago, fitness like is good for your mental health and just your overall health and everything. And that's really where I want to see some improvements in my life with fitness. So we're going to keep working. I've been cutting back on my sugar significantly. I've gone multiple days, if not weeks, without eating it. I did eat some junk the other day. It was Twizzlers. It was a smoothie. And it was a cookie from the, from the vegan smoothie place. Boy, I feel like I was about to just fall asleep like all day. I couldn't even stay focused on some of the videos I was editing. I was gonna pass out the whole time. I think that's a good sign that my sugar consumption is so low to a point where I can't enjoy it like I used to. <laughs> I don't know, but I felt terrible after eating all that stuff, man. Another cool thing that I've been able to do ever since I started working out is pull-ups. I could never do pull-ups before. The last few days, I've been trying to do like a little bit of a challenge. Every time I go to the gym, I do at least five to 10 pull-ups. Now I don't record every single session, but I had a day where I did a set of six a set of three and then another set of three. I couldn't do any more after that. But the fact that I'm in a position where I did, I couldn't do pull-ups years ago. For the longest, most of my lifetime, I've never been able to do a pull-up. But with all the stuff that I've been doing now in terms of fitness, it feels good. Might as well show you guys the kicks that we're using too. These are the shoes that I normally work out in. New Balances with uh, some art supports in them. They work. Also got gloves too now. You're gonna laugh at me, but these are actually biking gloves. I couldn't find any good gloves. These are Jasmine's, not mine. These are Jasmine's, same with that. Same with all of them, it's hers, not mine. I couldn't find any good workout gloves at Target. They were just like sold out on all of them. It's all about biker gloves or biking, like 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 pro biking kind of gloves. Like it's a, it's, like, it's not really a snug fit. I was gonna say it's a tiny bit of a snug fit, but they, I got maneuverability. I only really wanna use these for when I'm doing either a bench press or when I'm doing pull-ups. I have calluses on my hands, like right around here at the base of my fingers. But when it comes to those pull-ups, dude, it just, it tears my hand apart. I can't really do it yet. So for the time being, we're gonna be using gloves for the pull-ups. Field tested them today too, and it felt good. In terms of whatever else is happening in my life, though, this week is gonna be really busy in terms of editing. We got the CDL Toronto major coming up. I'm not going to that one. It's literally in Toronto, Canada. Jasmine's got some stuff to do for her bridal shower. She's got an adventure she's gonna be going on with her friends. So I'm gonna be on my own this weekend to, uh, 
to just do a bunch of stuff, mostly work and edit and probably record content for the second channel for the time being. Dude, the last week was the CSGO Paris major, which is the last major for CSGO because we're switching over to Counter-Strike two and that was one of the most amazing events that i've ever watched in my life the crowd was insane that arena the the acorn the acorn arena the acorn arena it could fit up to twenty thousand people and that arena was packed tickets sold out completely filled to the max csgo is over like a million or something views on twitch too it was crazy my goal this year is to either go to a csgo event or something i want to go to one more tournament we've got cod champs coming up in vegas this year i want to go to that but it's vegas man vegas is expensive i don't know if we're gonna do that one or not but but i want to go to a csgo event there's one coming up in washington dc which is a five hour drive for me and there's one coming up next weekend in texas so i'm thinking about going to one of them maybe i'll probably definitely go to the washington one if i have the opportunity to it's easier it's closer i gotta ask some people i know that have been to csgo events if they're going to the washington one because if they are I might just try and tag along honestly because i've never been to a csgo event i've watched a lot of counter-strike and i've been a fan of it since 2017 ever since cloud nine won their major in boston and i've never been to an event since like, like I got into the eSport. Next year for sure though, I'm definitely going to more gaming events. This year was insane in terms of like Boston and Texas. And if you guys still want to see the content from those events, I mean, I guess I can make a little like vlog about them, you know? One thing I've learned in my endeavor as a video editor and a like videographer is I record way too much footage. So the projects just turn into this overwhelming task where I just have way too much content to edit. So I'm gonna try and change that, I think, for the future of my event like vlogs and pieces of content because I've recorded so much footage and done nothing with it. That being said, I don't really have too much else I want to add to this. Uh, thank you for all the love and support on the Jedi Survivor playthrough on the main channel. It was insane. That game was 10 out of 10 for me. Performance issues aside, I loved it from start to finish. And thank you for all the love and support on the Call of Duty channel, which has almost hit 630 subs in the last couple of weeks. It's up from like four something to almost to over 600 in these last few weeks. The shorts on that channel have been doing good. The Black Ops 3 content was, was doing good until if any, or Activision decided to shut down the Black Ops 3 client that people were using to play that game safely because the servers, like the default servers of Black Ops 3 are terrible. There's a lot of risk of your like PCs and stuff getting hacked and a bunch of other stuff. So there was a custom client that allowed people to play on it safely, but the content was doing amazing. I'm sad I won't be able to do it anymore thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed this vlog be sure to leave a like on it sub to the channel for more content and as always this has been jay the gamer i'll see you later